Hello and, very warm welcome to EFX TV. Today I am going to show you how to create EFI partition in Windows 10. If you want to know how to create EFI partition on Ubuntu click on the link shown above. It will speed up Windows 10 performance and booting process. Hyper-V will be there to ensure even more performance-driven activities and virtualization. EFI partition is also responsible for storing multiple bootloaders in single EFI partition for quick and secure boot. I have already covered all the details about legacy and UFI BIOS if you want to know about, click on the link shown above. Without talking further the let's get into the video. Hope you already have a Windows 10 installed or let me quickly show you the correct way to install Windows 10, so that you never face CFI related errors. If you don't know how to create a bootable USB disk, please click on the link shown above. For this demonstration, I'm going to use a virtual box. Let's quickly install Windows 10. This part is very crucial, click on custom installation, now click on new. Make sure whatever space you are going to provide, will be for the primary drive or C drive. I am going to provide 30 GB space, you can decide according to your needs. I'm going to use it as a temporary operating system. Minimum 60 to 200 gigabytes is recommended for base operating system as Windows 10. Partition with 30.9 gigabytes space will be the installation drive for Windows 10. You can create another partition by clicking on unallocated space. Hit next and click on apply. For now, I don't want to create any extra partition apart from the C drive. Click on second partition and hit next. You can see the installation process has been started, let me pause the video and get back to you after the installation gets completed. Provide your Outlook login details. In my case, the internet is turned off. Turn on the internet.
Let me make it full screen. It will be done automatically on your Windows 10. To check the system information, click on the search box right after the Windows icon. Type system information, click on system information. Here you can see by default this system supports legacy BIOS. Now let me show you the partition type for legacy BIOS. Click on File Manager, right click on this PC. Click on Manage, click on Disk Management. Click on Disk 0 then click on Properties, click on Volume and you can see it as MBR Partition Type. MBR stands for Master Boot Record, which supports legacy BIOS with some limitations. Now I'll show you how to create EFI Partition in Windows 10 and enable UFI BIOS mode for dual boot. To do this I will convert the MBR Partition to a GPT Partition. Let me show you what are the system apps my system has pre-installed in newly installed Windows 10. To create the EFI partition in Windows 10 we need to restart the system. Click on the Windows icon and click on the Settings icon above it. Scroll down and click on Update and Security. Click on Recovery. Then click on the Restart, after that press the left shift button on your keyboard. Do not release it, until it loads the boot options. Click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Command Prompt, click on the username and enter the password. Click on Continue, wait for some time. Now type the same command shown on the screen. Wait for some time. Ignore the errors and close the terminal. After restarting the system you will find an error, it says fatal no bootable medium found, to fix this go to your BIOS settings and enable UFI bootloader. Now start your system once again. It will take some time to open up the Windows 10 login screen, as it's the first login after converting the MBR partition to a GPT partition. You can feel the booting speed is much better than before. Now let's check the system information once again. You can see the BIOS mode has been changed to UFI. Now let's check if the EFI partition was added to our partition table or not.
The EFI partition is successfully added to our partition table in Windows 10. Again right click on disk 0, properties, volume and you can see the MBR partition has been converted to a GPT partition. Now I am going to do some more tweaks in settings to make Windows 10 even more faster and secure. Before that let me show you something by going into Task Manager. You can see I have Visualization enabled on my system, make sure you have enabled Virtualization from your BIOS to avail this functionality. To know how to enable Virtualization on Windows 10 click on the link shown above. Now search for Control Panel, search for Program and Features, click on Turn Windows Feature on or off, and check mark the same options as I am showing you. Click on OK and wait for some time. Now restart your system, but I am going to shut down first.